What's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the best Kickstarters that I've seen in a long time and it's near and dear to my heart because it does involve education. This is the Crow Pie. Basically the Crow Pie is a kit to help you learn computer science, programming, hacking, electronics using a Raspberry Pi Zero or a Raspberry Pi 3 or B3+. Plus. Now this was sent over for review from the guys at the Crow Pie team. The Kickstarter is still going on. When this video goes up, there'll only be four days left on the Kickstarter. So if you're interested in picking one of these up, links are in the description. There are a few pledges that you can go through. The cheapest one being 149. 149 US dollars will get you this kit with a few basic accessories. They also offer some higher tier kits. For 209, you can get one of these with a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus included. The one I received didn't include a Raspberry Pi, but I just went ahead and threw a Raspberry Pi 3 in there, not a 3B+. I have a few of them laying around, and I figured it's perfect for a project like this. So the Crow Pi does include a 7-inch screen attached. It's a touch screen, and I'm not sure if it's 1080p or not, but it's very crystal clear for being such a small little screen. Now this is the place where all the magic happens. We have GPIO LED indicator, LCD module, matrix LED, segment LED, vibration motor, light sensor, buzzer, sound sensor, motion sensor, ultrasonic sensor, servo interface, a step motor interface, a tilt sensor, an IR sensor, a touch sensor. I mean, there's so much stuff on here. It's kind of ridiculous and I'm not going to go over everything right now, but I do want to show you some of these basic features up and running. I'm going to go ahead and install my Raspberry Pi. I will flash a 16 gigabyte SD card with the Crow Pi operating system. It's just a modified Raspbian OS with everything you need to get up and running. So here's the unit. I've already installed the modified Raspbian image. Inside of a folder on the desktop, straight out of the box, you will get some scripts here. This will allow you to easily study them, modify them, and get everything up and running on the board itself. Now one of the main reasons I agreed to do a review on this is because I have small children. My best helper here, her name's Jordan, she's six years old, just got out of kindergarten for summer vacation. We plan on doing a lot of development with this, and building some really cool projects. Guys, what's up? So the first demo I ran was the touch demo. There's a little touch sensor here. As you can see, when you touch it, it'll give you an output in the terminal window. It just says touch detected. Now these are very basic, but you can build upon these and we definitely plan on doing that. Next little demo I wanna show you is the time demo. We have a segmented LED right here. All we need to do is CD into the CrowPy folder and we're gonna run the segment Python script. Give us our time, it's 154. So these are the basic scripts that are included. They're really awesome to use and modify and learn from. I recommend creating a whole backup of that folder. That way, if you wanna start modifying any of them or adding to them, you'll have the original in case you mess something up. He also sent me a small little servo here. There's a servo interface, and I'm really excited about the stepper motor interface because we definitely have a few projects coming up by the end of the week. We're going to modify a few things, and I want to show you how everything works. So now I think it's time for my six-year-old daughter to mess around with this. She's going to modify some of the basic scripts included by CrowPie, and she's going to show you exactly what they do when she's done. I modified two scripts, and I want to show you what they do. All right, the first thing we want to do is head to the desktop. And now you want to type in sudo, S-U-D-O, U-D-O, space, Python, P-Y-T-H-O-N, space. Stop shaking the table. We're going to just use the LCD that's on the desktop or the matrix. Which one do you want to use first? LCD or matrix? Yeah. LCD. So LCD. L C D. Dot. P Y. It's right there. Press enter. So on here, it now says Hello Kitty. That's what you modified. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. All right, so next one, 
So to stop most of these, we can press Control Z. If you hold Control Z, that'll stop it. Now we want to type in, actually we can press up. We can delete the LCD.py and type in matrix, M-A-T, R, I, X, dot, P-Y for Python script, P-Y, Y. Now press enter. Hi, my, what does it say? Name is Jordan. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of other stuff that you can do with this. And what we wanna do is that by the end of this week, we're gonna take the stepper motor and we're gonna hook this up to your Barbie dream house so it'll lift up your elevator, <laughs> but you have to put in the code to lift it up. You have to put in the script. So I have to modify the script to lift one of your Barbies up. Yay! <laughs> Wait, how's it gonna do it? with a script, a stepper motor script. And with that, I believe we need to switch some of these switches here to get the stepper motor to function through the GPIO pins. So it's gonna like float? Nope, we're gonna mount this. And then we're gonna put some type of pulley with some string on it. That way when you turn it on and you type in the script, press enter, this will turn and it'll lift up Hopefully it's got enough power, which I think it does, to lift up your Barbie Dream House elevator. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, I think this is a really cool little entertainment slash learning tool. Now, if you really want to get down to it, you could install RetroPie on here and play some retro games. First thing my daughter asked me was, can I watch videos on it? And yes, you definitely can. It also comes preloaded with Minecraft Pie, the version of Minecraft for the Raspberry Pi. And it works pretty well. So me and Jordan will be back very shortly, probably by the end of this week with another project using the Crow Pie. One of the big reasons I'm super glad that we got a hold of this is, like I mentioned, she's off of school for two to three months now for summer vacation. This is going to give her something to do almost every day. We can come up with a new project. She'll be able to have fun and learn at the same time. So Jordan, is this something that you would want to use? Do you want to learn more about it? If not, you can say no. You can completely tell the truth. Let me know right now. If you're not going to use it, we'll give it to somebody else. Um, I'm going to use it. I'm going to have lots of fun with it. I want to learn with it a lot. Okay. I also have a four-year-old son, and it's something that he would be interested in. He does have a shorter attention span. He loves dinosaurs and robots. Yeah. But what about building something with this that we can control with little servos to make stuff move well what i want is i want a dinosaur one that's green okay we'll see if they have a dinosaur one that's green i want to get this out of the way crow pie has not paid me to make this video they simply sent me one for a review and i think it's an awesome learning tool for children and adults alike so you don't have to be a child to enjoy something like this i think a 40 50 60 70 year old person would have just as much fun as long as they're willing to learn if you've ever wanted to learn to program Python, this is an awesome option for you. There will always be people out there who think this is way too expensive for what it is. And they might be right. You could get on eBay or Amazon and order all of these accessories, throw them in a bag, and then put them on your desk for $30 to $40. But when it's all put together like this, in such a nice package, it's hard to beat. $150 without a pie, $209 with a pie, I think it's well worth it. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We do plan on making a few other videos, hopefully by the end of this week. Like I mentioned, we do want to get that stepper motor hooked up on the Barbie Dream House so we can have a fully functional electronic elevator. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. I'm going to leave a link to their Kickstarter page and their full website. You can also head over to their GitHub page and get the modified Raspbian operating system that I was using here with everything pre-set up. Or you could build one from scratch if that's what you're into. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.